ever since i started working out i've been consuming carbs like a normal person and i'm still losing weight hi everyone welcome back to my channel i'm timmy banjo today i'm going to be showing you guys what i eat in a day on a low carb diet not really low carb because i'm not really checking my carbs or anything like that i just like to track my macronutrients and ever since i started working out i've been consuming carbs like a normal person and i'm still losing weight which is a plus for me so today i'm going to be showing you guys how i track my macronutrients since you guys have been wanting to know ever since i filmed this video about why you should stop tracking your calories but rather track your macronutrients so for my breakfast i'm going to be having chickweed it's one of the recipes i found out in one in a fast food joint or in a restaurant whichever one it is most of us know what chickweed is it's just bread um grilled bread um coleslaw and protein either chicken or beef i've done this previously it tasted nice so i decided to incorporate it into my breakfast and to count the macros which i'm having into it just to make it work for me all right guys i'm making a sandwich today or like the chickweed we buy from our favorite eatery or fast food joint so i got this um chicken patties i used to use the beef one before but i decided to try the chicken one today and i'm going to be having two of this in my sandwich so i'll cut this open now and fry it in the pan so it comes in twos like this so i'm going to fry these two in the pan right now so my pot is hot already i'm going to put about a tablespoon of oil in the pan this is so unusual of me to be measuring my oil because I'm not on a keto diet so I have to be cautious about my fat intake. So I'm going to put a little bit of butter on the bread so it doesn't stick to the toaster. And I'm using about one um, tablespoon or even half for the whole four slices. So I'm going to place it in the toaster like this. So my toast is pretty much done but i would like it to get brown a little bit more so i'll leave it there for about two to three more minutes all right guys so this is my breakfast and this is absolutely feeling once i have this i feel so full i just have to drink water since I don't take soft drink, I like using um, other, you know, natural drinks, food juices to replace um, anything sweet. So I've been getting this Tiger Nut drink from somebody at my gym. She sells it for 500 naira. So I've been getting this from her every single night. And I have this in my breakfast every morning and it tastes so good. So these are the benefits of tiger nut milk so there's tiger nut milk here ginger and dates i believe so this is what i'm going to have with my breakfast So my chickweed is approximately 800 calories. Meanwhile, there's fats, carbohydrates, protein, and vegetables in there also. And the fact that my sister had one of the bread, so I, automat I automatically had 400 calories in the morning, which is way less than what I plan to have. So let's go over to my lunch and see what I'm going to have for lunch, which is going to be plantain and eggs. I know you guys like plantain, but I decided to stop deep frying my plantain to stop soaking so much oil because it's reused oil instead i decided to start doing it in a new method so let's check that out all right so for my lunch i'm going to have plantain and eggs 
and I'm going to do just one plantain because my protein which is the eggs is going to be more it's almost going to be the same amount with the plantain so in case you're wondering we want plantain fill me up I'll show you guys how I make that work So I cut my plantain this way because I'm not going to deep fry it. I'm just going to fry it on the surface of oil instead of deep frying it and soaking it inside so much oil. So I'm doing one tablespoon of oil or one cover of oil. Meanwhile, if there was light, I would have just grilled this, but there's no light, so I have to fry it. I'm using the same pan I used to fry my plantain to fry my eggs also. I'm going to use 2 tablespoons of oil. my lunch is ready guys and this is exactly how I mean by I'm going to make sure my protein is more than my carbs if you don't know plantain has carbs so my protein is more than my carbs same way I will eat swallow my soup will be more than the swallow itself so this is how I make sure I track my carbs and I track my um, fat intake so because I am not on a keto diet, I always like try to calculate the fat I'm having so it doesn't exceed my macronutrient count. Also, I decided to do it this method because it gets done almost immediately in like five minutes your plantain is done. Then I made my eggs somewhat look like the main meal. That is what I keep telling you guys that you should substitute your carbohydrates for either protein or vegetables. Make sure it's like the vegetable that is the main meal. Although some vegetables have carbs, you have to do that with um, leafy greens which do not have so much carbs as to other vegetables do that with leafy greens as your soup make sure your soup is like the main meal and then your swallow is just very little also as you can see in my plantain and egg my egg looks like the main meal while the plantain looks like the you know subordinate meal all that is just below 400 calories or approximately 400 calories so I'm not really interested in the calorie count I'm interested in my macronutrients my dinner is usually a smoothie but because there's no light I had to just turn it into a fruit bowl or a fruit salad which I'll be having I don't even think I'm going to finish this up because it was a lot and I divided it into two tomorrow morning I'm going to have that as my breakfast with my alongside my breakfast as a smoothie for my dinner I'm going to have a fruit salad because I'm almost going to the gym Mind you, I always have my dinner before 5 o'clock because once it's 5.30, I make my way to the gym. So I'm having a fruit salad, something very light. Alright guys, this is my dinner and my final meal for today. Once I have this, I'm going to head over to the gym. And once I get back from the gym, I just have like two bottles of water, about 500 ml. That's half a liter of water and till the next day before I eat. So the total calories I had for today is 1,500 calories. When I go to the gym, I try to, I try to burn at least 1,000 calories, which sits about 800 calories. Sometimes I'm not able to burn 1,000 calories. So I burn like 800 on the average. So 1,500 minus 800 is 700 calories. So that means I'm having 700 calories in a day. And I'm automatically in a calorie deficit diet intentionally or unintentionally whichever one it is but 
my macronutrients are more important than the calories once i'm done with my last meal for the day i head over to to the gym and that is when my intermittent fasting starts and it ends around 9 a.m or 10 a.m which is about 17 or 18 hours fast thank you guys so much for sticking with me in this video if you do like if you want to watch more videos check out my videos which will up here on your screen here and here make sure you do check them out let me know your thoughts and any other videos you want me to film leave a comment for me in the comment section down below and i'll see you in the next one you're about to click on bye